Hey guys, welcome back to Six Sister Stuff. Today I'm sharing with you 10 things you should never do with your Instant Pot. So my name is Kristen and on Mondays we share Instant Pot recipes with you guys. But today's a little bit different because I'm sharing with you some tips and tricks or 10 things you should never do with your Instant Pot. So if you're new to our channel and you want some tips and tricks or advice with your Instant Pot, make sure you subscribe and don't forget to push that little bell notification. So number one, you don't need to double the time on your Instant Pot if you're doubling the recipe. So for example, if you're cooking rice, you can make one cup of rice, of white rice, and cook it for seven minutes. Or you can have six cups of white rice and cook it for also seven minutes. You're still gonna cook it for the same time. You're not going to bump up the time at all. Now the only time that that's different is when you're cooking a roast. Because the thicker your roast is, the more time you have to cook it because it has to cook in the middle. So other than cooking roasts, you're going to keep the time the same on the majority of your recipes. Number two, never ever push cancel as your pot is pressurizing. A lot of new people, they'll set their timer and it's starting to pressurize and then they think that it's taking too long so they'll decide to cancel it. And then they'll send me an email saying, my Instant Pot's not working, it takes too long to pressurize. So you just need to be patient. Patience, patience, wait a few minutes for it to pressurize. It can take anywhere from about five to 20 minutes to pressurize. You wanna let it pressurize and then it will start counting down. So wait, wait for it and then you'll be fine. Number three, when your pot is all done cooking, never ever take off the lid by force. You wanna wait until that little pin drops. Now I know a girl who decided, you know, I want my lid off right now. So she literally, with her strength, opened it up and had to go to the hospital because she had so many burns on her body. So you wanna make sure all the pressure is out, that the pin is down, and then you should be able to open your lid easily. Never force it open. Number four, you wanna make sure that when your pot is steaming out, so when you're letting out all the pressure, that your hand doesn't get in the way of the Instant Pot. So if you're nervous about getting burned as your Instant Pot is venting, you can always use like a wooden spoon or something so you can kind of make it go venting from a distance. Number five, never put your pot or your still bowl on the stove top. So uh, let me show you. So this still bowl is specifically made for your Instant Pot. Don't put it on your stove top, don't put it in your oven, it will melt. In my Facebook group called Instant Pot Recipes, we've had many pictures of people who have accidentally put this on their stove top or even put their Instant Pot on their stove top and it is melted completely. So just make sure that this pot is only for your Instant Pot and don't, don't even put this on your stove top in case your burner turns on because it will melt it. It really will. Number six, I've had a lot of people tell me that they've accidentally put food in their Instant Pot. Now I'm not talking about in their pot, this pot, I'm talking about in this pot. So just make sure when you are putting food into your Instant Pot, make sure that your still pot is in first. My, my sweet mother-in-law was new to the Instant Pot and she accidentally dumped in a ton of rice into this part and it took a few hours to clean out and get it out, which we did. We've had a few people in our Instant Pot Facebook group who it didn't work out so well for them. They put liquid in there or things that don't clean out easily and it destroyed their Instant Pot. So just make sure this goes in first and then your food. Number seven, there are many different sizes of Instant Pots. You have your three quart, your six quart is what I use the majority of the time. Then there's an eight quart and there's also a 10 quart that just came out. The most common question I get is that people are confused and they, they don't know that you need to keep the time the same on any Instant Pot you're using if you're doing the recipe. So say, again, let's go back to rice. You're making rice, um, one cup of rice for seven minutes. You're gonna do seven minutes in each pot. It might take a little bit longer to pressurize in the bigger pots, but you'll still keep the time the same. Number eight, never just put your food in there and put the lid on and expect it to pressurize. You need liquid. Now, one of the most common misconceptions is that you could use like salsa or other thick liquid, which will work sometimes, but a lot of the times you'll get that lovely burn notice. And so you just wanna make sure that you always have a little bit of liquid, whether it's water or chicken broth, 
Now, if you put enough liquid in there and it's too liquidy when your food is done, you can just push the saute button and evaporate some of that liquid and then your recipe will be just fine. Number nine, never fill your pot all the way to the top. Now, one, it's not going to cook correctly. Two, it probably won't pressurize. And three, if it does pressurize, chances are it will make a giant mess. So my rule of thumb is that I always try and fill it just three fourths full or less. So the more full you get, the longer it will take to pressurize. And so I always just go three fourths and then all your food should be just fine. And number 10. Now this one is just my own preference. A lot of people, if they're new to the Instant Pot, they call it Insta Pot, kind of like Instagram, but it's not Insta Pot. It is called Instant Pot. I'm never gonna say that again, but that's what it's called, Instant Pot. I've said it, now we're done. <laughs> I hope these 10 things that you need to know for your Instant Pot will help you out just a little bit. Now, if you're new to the Instant Pot, be sure to check out my five Instant Pot recipes for beginners. They're perfect if you're just starting out. All right, guys, I'll see you next week.